Hi friends, I'm Gina, and this is my channel full of gray stitches. If this is your first time here, welcome. It's so nice to meet you. And if you've been here before, welcome back. I'm so glad you could join me today. I share weekly episodes of my works in progress, finished objects, news and updates, your questions and comments, and more. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on all the crafty, creative fun. Stay tuned for this episode because I'm going to share an exciting project update with you all on one of my works in progress. So stay tuned. Now go ahead and grab your project, your cup of your favorite beverage, get cozy and let's get started. I received a comment last week from one of my wonderful viewers on a su suggestion for my Dainty Daisy Granny Squares. And all the, I've been also discussing the goal that I have for that, which was to have it done for my daughter's birthday. It's in a couple weeks, actually. Um, and so I wanted to just share my progress on that because I it was kind of eye-opening, and I don't know why I hadn't thought of it myself before, but that's what I love about this channel. I love that you all share with me your ideas and what you're working on, and I just love sharing with you too. So I just think that's it's great that I was able to get this suggestion. So here it is. It's in this basket, my project basket. And it's not complete. However, we do have some squares that are joined. Look at this. And I'm doing the continuous join as you go. And I'll just recap the project as well if you're new around here. This is the Dainty Daisy Granny Square Project. The pattern is by Just Be Crafty. And I'm using a size four worsted weight yarn. It's a, the yarn that I'm using is 100% acrylic because uh, I want it to be easy care. The yarn that I'm using is called, I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby. And the colorway is yellow, white, and rosy cheeks. And I'm doing the continuous join as you go. So with that said, it, it, it adds an additional row around the whole square. So it's a slightly larger square than originally, than what was originally made. But I think for my purposes, it's actually helpful because now instead of having to do 20 cr across and 24 tall for the final blanket, I'm gonna be doing it 15 wide. And it's already made a large blanket. It's about 62 inches wide already. So I think I'm good with the width. And so my goal is to finish this off. Hopefully I can get it done for her birthday. And I think I wanna do 15 rows tall as well. So it'll be more of a square blanket. And I think I can do it. I, I mean, I, it feels like it's going quickly and I'm able to do it row by row in one continuous join. And it feels like it's going really fast. So that's my hope. And if not, I'm gonna just take a picture of it with her on her birthday and then just continue working on it as, um, as I go and get it done whenever it can get done. But, but my goal is to just get it finished. So we'll see. I have some evenings to myself to do that. So I'm while we watch TV. So I'm hoping to get even further along with this project. Let me know if you've ever done the continuous join as you go. And I will put a border as well. I might do the scallop border that the pattern designer suggests in the pattern. And I think that would look really pretty and very feminine for her. And her, her room is this kind of dusty pink color and I just really love this color. Uh, this was the color of my bridesmaids dresses when I got married. And I, uh, I just really love, I'm all about this kind of dusty pink color. So 
so that's the big project update. And I haven't really worked on anything else. Like I finished my pot holder last week and I shared that with you all. And and now um, I think my next projects are going to be um, the meadow romper for my daughter because she's almost turning a year old and we're getting close to those summer months and I want to have this adorable romper for her that she can wear this summer and I've already ordered the yarn as well for this project so I'm excited that uh, I'll be able to get started on it soon and now that the Dainty Daisy is really going full steam I, I just feel like I'll have more openings for new projects. And the other project is a granny stripe blanket for my son. I shared the yarn with you in the past few episodes, so you can go back and check that out as well and see what that looks like. But I'm feeling really great about the progress. I'm feeling like I'm getting over that hump and, and getting making more traction. What are you working on? Let me know in the comments below. Last week I shared a project wish list with you too. There are several other projects that I would like to get to work on in the future and I feel like the list keeps growing. Every week I keep adding to the list of projects that I want to work on and I'm just, I wish there was just more time in the day. <laughs> I do have an update on my knitted socks pattern that I shared with you recently. Still not going to show anything today with that because I'm still working on it and actually I just decided yesterday I'm reintroducing myself to knitting because it's been so long. I'm actually just in these initial stages of getting comfortable again with the with the knit stitch and the purl stitch. I'm good with the knit stitch, it's the purling. I'm getting better with that too. And I think it's the yarn that I'm using. It's 100% cotton. And I've been thinking while I, while I started working on it, I just don't think this is the right yarn for this project. I just don't think that 100% cotton is going to do well. And so then I did a quick little Google search to just confirm my thoughts. And sure enough, there's several, um, several people online saying, yeah, it's, cotton is not the greatest for sucks because of the, the the fabric memory so memory is when you have an item a piece of fabric that goes back to its shape it, it has a memory and it goes back to its shape and that's what you want with a sock you want a sock that is going to stretch slightly for you to put it on and then conform back to shape to be fitted around your foot and so cotton, I don't think it can really do that. So unless you do like a cotton blend and the yarn that I bought was the Rainbow Rhapsody from Yarn Bee and it's 100% cotton. It's a fingering weight. It's, so it's the right size and everything. It's just the type of yarn is not gonna work out. So I'm gonna revisit my socks again and then hopefully I have that Patton Croy socks yarn that I picked up in my Hobby Lobby haul. If you're not familiar with that, go back and check out my Hobby Lobby haul video as well where I share all these yarns with you and you can go and see what each one of those looks like. So I think I'm just gonna go forward with the Croy socks because that's actually meant for socks and, um, and go from there. I, I'm also, you know, um, the DPNs are a little fiddly too, and just because I'm, I'm kind of newer at the knitting again, um, I think I'm going to try circular needles as well. I did a poll out on my community tab. If you didn't see it, go ahead and fill out the poll on the community tab um, about, about using DPNs or do you use circulars so it's just interesting to see what people use i did order a pair of circular needles as well because maybe that will help um, ease this a little bit to make it a little bit better experience so that i can get going on the project and i have knitted socks before in the past a long time ago like i said in my last video i have knitted socks before on dpns but i had been very well immersed already in knitting and that's what I was working. That's the type of 
projects that I was always creating were knitting projects. So I was very comfortable. And so using the DPNs was a no brainer for me. It was very easy, but now it has been so long. I think it's been over 15 years since I've knitted. So, um, I think, yeah, it's been over 15 years since I've knitted. So it's just getting back into it, jumping back in. It's like riding a bike. It's feeling comfortable. I'm, I'm recognizing the feeling of knitting again. So we're going to get there. It's all going to happen. So I'm just going to keep, keep trial and error. And that's just what you do when you learn. So I'm so glad that you're here that I can share my progress with you. And I love hearing about your experiences too. I really enjoy all the comments and it's just been so wonderful. You have no idea. Like when I started getting all these comments, I, I just was so taken aback. Like, wow, this is so awesome. This community here, everybody's so nice and um, just has really nice suggestions or ideas or even wonderful projects that they're sharing. So that's the next thing I'd like to get into are your comments and questions. The first comment comes from Jack and Sheila Weber. Hi, Gina. I am currently working on a Battenberg blanket as well. I am making one as a baby, as a baby boy blanket with greens, blues, aquas, and white, and a girl baby blanket to put back in my gift closet. The girl one is using lilac, pinks, yellow, and white. I am crocheting mine together. I have also made two Nature's Walk blankets by Sandra Paul. I love her patterns. Me too. Thank you for your podcast. All the best, Sheila. Thank you, Sheila. Thank you so much for taking the time to send me a wonderful message about your Battenberg blankets. And I can't believe that you're doing two. That's amazing because they're such a, it's such an involved project. I shared the Battenberg blanket in my last video. So if you're interested in seeing what that's all about, go ahead and check out that last video that I posted. And I love Sandra Paul's uh, patterns as well. I just think she's a phenomenal crochet designer. And I just think that her patterns are so beautiful. Good luck with your Battenberg blanket. Do you have any questions for me? Please feel free to put those in the comments below. I love hearing from you and sharing your comments and questions. That's it for today, my friends. Thanks again for watching this video. It's been great visiting with you. Please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. If you know of anyone who would be interested in this content, please share this video with them. I really appreciate you all. I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.